Well, I'd like to thank uh, the board and to thank Bob for the invitation to be here this morning to join in the celebrations, uh, the 25th birthday celebrations for the Cork Academy of Music. Uh, I was just thinking, looking at that video, uh, which obviously tells its own story and there's not much to be added to it, but I can remember back to my day watching Fame on the television. Then there was High School Musical and then School of Rock, or would it not, maybe in that order. And I think the Academy of Music has encapsulated all those uh, here, right here on our doorstep in Cork. <clears throat> and I suppose as somebody who worked in education for 10 years and who's continuing to do so with the Cork ETB, um, the value of music <clears throat> to young people cannot be overstated. It's a universal language. There's no divider uh, between uh, class, creed or colour. Uh, and I think, you know, from my experience of working in the schools, and especially since Music Generation came on board a number of years ago, uh, the options into music now are much greater than they were when I was going to school. Um, when I attended school in Sullivan's Quay and later in Deer Park, I suppose the only options for people were the School of Music, uh, which, as Bob said in his interview there, <coughs> uh, were kind of pro prohibitive, really, for many families. Uh, but when I worked with school completion uh, over the last 10 years and to see the, the transformation, I suppose, of pupils starting off learning to read music uh, and hearing all those weird sounds coming from the parents' room and that being transformed into concerts at the end of the year and to see that progress over the course of the year was, was amazing. And it's great now that we, there's so many more young people are exposed to that. And I suppose what I've said to, to the young people that I worked with and I said to the schools when I visited uh, in September, October, um, music is a great, um, I suppose, forum for physical health, but also for mental health. Uh, and I think that if people immerse themselves in music, it's, it's, it's a lifelong skill, um, but it's also a lifelong, I suppose, resolve or building block for resilience as well. So I'd like to commend Bob on the fantastic work that he has done over the 25 years and is continuing to do, uh, and thank him personally for helping out with many of my civic events this year. Um, but also to the board uh, and Tom, uh, uh, you have Tom, Captain uh, Pat Nolan, Brenda McGuire, uh, Brian Prendergast, and Bob Bob Seward Jr. Uh, these people are doing, are putting their time and effort in to something that they love, a project that they love, and a project that we love in Cork. It has benefited over two and a half thousand, maybe three thousand students since its inception, uh, and has given people that I know that when that struggle to go through school um, has given them an extra, um, I suppose, an extra branch into areas that they may have been precluded from previously. And I think to that end as well, uh, we need to thank the staff. Uh, the tutors, and of course the people who, who make it happen, Cork ETB, Cork City Council, thank everybody who was part of this. And I see people represented here from the ETB, uh, present and past. Uh, and you know, it says here about changing lives at the Academy of Music, and you're transforming lives, and that's what's been done in this building, and in outreach across the schools, across and, and the communities across the city and county. Um, I thank Billy O'Callaghan as well, who's um, you know the manager of it, and I know Billy well from his time at Barrack Street Band, and I remember him taking up the the bat on literally when he started a job, uh, and he had been doing a lot of great work with Barrack Street Band in the schools anyway. And as I said, to see um, young people taking up instruments, brass instruments, and any other instruments to start. See them singing and performing in front of people, you know, building up their confidence has been uh, fantastic for me, not just this year, but in my year working in the schools as well. So uh, congratulations on a fantastic anniversary, 25 years, you know, you, it rolls off the tongue, but I can imagine uh, the, you know, the amount of work and effort and the challenges that were posed in that time. So I think Bob deserves um, great credit and great applause for, for leading the way in Cork. Uh, and as I said, everybody in the room here has helped him along that journey and you all deserve uh, great applause as well. I just like to acknowledge, I just see Councillor Tynan, I think Councillor Fitzgerald was here as well. And I know that it gets great support from the local councillors too, uh, and long may that continue. So congratulations, and uh, you, you deserve all the plaudits you get for, for making this such a transformative place in a campus that has been at the heart of education in Cork for, for a century. So, Grimagwith.